Hey guys, so today I'm sharing with you my seven sources of passive income, but first, it bumped him up to 200 grand a month. And then he's like, I made 200 grand a month. And then because people are like, oh my God, he made that much. You click on it and then. <laughs> baby, 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 baby. I almost forgot. I'm just like deep into work, so. Sorry. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. I'm just letting you know. What is the word for today? Ready? Yeah. <laughs> I believe in myself. Wow! Can you change it there? Wow, I love this like. Okay guys, so before we start this uh, passive income ideas tutorial, just remember, believe in yourself. Hey guys, Mike Vasile from MikeVasile.com. In today's video, we are surprisingly, I don't, I don't know, what do you think we're gonna talk about? We're talking about passive income ideas because I've been trying to rank this keyword on YouTube for so long and you know, at, at this point, I, I'm I'm pretty much had it. You know, I've tried Casey Neistat style vlogs. I, I, start, I tried yelling at the camera. I tried doing all these things. So I guess the episode for today is just relying on my reaction to current passive income ideas. Maybe, maybe if my videos aren't ranking because the YouTube algorithm and the YouTube gods are like, Mike, you are not worthy. Then I am going to just give in to the pressure and just look up the passive income ideas, give you guys my opinion. Remember, I'm not a financial expert. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a guru. I'm just a guy that knows how to make a bunch of money online, but also knows how to horribly invest it and lose all of his money as well. So I think the point of this video is just educational and for you guys to not make the same mistakes as me because I am a freaking moron. And you guys, my friends, my beautiful people are very smart individuals for here. So let's actually go in and see why I'm not ranking on YouTube when it comes to passive income ideas. And if you wonder why there's all these like Korean, Indonesian style people, I, I, I'm in Bali and this is just, this is just on incognito. So you don't see any of my weird searches. Okay, so let's see the reason why, the reason why I'm not ranking. Is any one of these guys, maybe I'm on here. I think I'm pretty much on here. You have your all the consistent players and sadly, I've made like 500 passive income idea videos and none of it is still even showing. Maybe if I go to US, one second guys. I exist. I exist after scrolling down for like 500 million years. I exist right here for all that. So let's see. Let's see who are the number one contenders. We're going to come in. I'm going to say what's up. And uh, yeah, we'll go with that. Let's go with this guy because this guy, I've been seeing him around, right? If you haven't seen him, he's like every, he's actually like my childhood hero, right? If I was a kid and I was watching finance and this guy this guy does magic tricks and teaches you finance. So actually, out of all these people, I'm sorry, Gillian Perkins, but I'm gonna have to go with Andre Jick. Like, I kid you not, imagine learning finance from Dave Ramsey while also like doing magic tricks. Like, oh, what's that behind your ear? Oh, it's a, it's a million bucks. Let's go check it out. Hey guys, so today I'm sharing with you my seven sources of passive income, but first, let me take you back and tell you how I got here. So I was jobless in the first half of- So bro, uh, let me tell you why this guy is absolutely just killing it, okay? Most of the time, when you see these videos, passive income, make money online, you'll see that like one video gets like a huge amount of views and then all the consecutive videos completely suck. That's literally what happened to my channel. My, my channel, especially when I got started, I was just chasing views. And it would get like millions of views, but then the next video I would like drop in and get like 500 views. And that's because no one gave a bleep about me. And the reason why is because I never told a story. I never was a human being. I was, I was never a person that went through challenges, right? So I, I became like really hardly being able to relate to. And that's why like a lot of people just stopped watching me and it sucks and it hurts. But what this guy is doing 
just already geniusly more so than me is he's he's bringing you guys into the story and like epic cinematics right so right then and there whatever seven passive income ideas are i bet you from this video alone he's probably making about 100 to 500 dollars a day from this one video that, that that's the beauty of passive income right like i made a video about this a couple years back I, I made a video, top three ways to make $100 a day as a broke individual. And when I put it out there, that video made me $100 a day. So just right now, he's destroying me in terms of storytelling right now. Let's begin. Always, always need a, <laughs> you always need a cool intro. That's what I have one. So how are you enjoying Hawaii? I love it. I'm freaking out every day. You're interviewing me, so I'm looking at you. This feels like casting couch. I think couch. I'm gonna look at- Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, I don't know what that was. But another thing right there, that's also another thing for passive income ideas. Like, you see all these YouTubers making passive income videos, right? And, and I, I, I fall into the trap of this all the time. I'm just like, okay, how can I make people think I'm the coolest person in the world? And just, just put on this mask, right? This put on this mask where I'm this expert guru that, that teaches finances. What he did right there is he showed the fact that he was a human being. You know, he had the quirkiness of his girlfriend laying on the bed, the, the joke of casting couch, right? These little things that, that he's doing is literally the reason why his, his channel and, and his views are going up, right? And if you see like the past couple of vlogs that did not rank sadly on the YouTube algorithm. I've been putting my girlfriend in literally every single video and the YouTube algorithm, I think it's like racist because it's like, maybe it doesn't like Russian women, right? Like I, my, my girlfriend's beautiful and YouTube's just like, no, we're not going to rank your passive income video. So I'm taking a, I'm taking a play. I'm taking a play out of his book. Still not working. It sucks, but that's another thing that you guys can do if you're if you're watching a passive income video to make passive income so you can start your channel or blog or audience to talk about making passive income add a little bit of your personality let your your home life come in if you see my recent videos why it doesn't look as stiff as some of my older podcasts where it looks like there's literally a stick up my butt it's because it was like more playful it was more of my personality i didn't feel like I, I had to always put this mask on. Look at me. I just came from the gym. I'm basically borderline naked. It looks like I'm wearing a bra. I, I don't know what the point is that. I just, I, I guess it's just to show you that I'm a weird motherfucker and I, I'm just here to like, and it's like the more you just be yourself and not put on this mask, that, that's actually how the money comes, right? So, so these passive income ideas, I know we haven't gotten into yet. I already hear you're like, Mike. Just get on with the damn video. I'm trying to understand. I'm trying to break down the psychology behind it onto why some passive income journeys attract more passive income to them because of like the little components of psychology. So everything that he's doing right now, be it unconscious or subconscious, unconscious or conscious, it's all working in his favor. Like I said, look at my vlogs. It's like, here is the concept of the video. Now, let me bring you into my life. Let me introduce you to my dog. Let me show you a little bit of tricks. Let me share my girlfriend afraid of cockroaches. All these little things add on to the story. But let's just begin with my favorite source of passive income, and that is dividend growth investing. Now, if you guys don't know what that is, it's basically I get paid for owning certain types of companies that are... Okay, so I was just like listening to what he was going to say when he said dividend paying stocks, and, and I'm just coming at it from like an absolute idiot when it comes to investing, right? So so here's me, Mike, Mike Vestile, that just makes money online, that just knows how to make money online and has no idea how to actually invest properly in the stock market because like I said, did I mention I'm a moron? That right there makes it a lot harder for I guess the normal ordinary people to be able to know which stock to actually pick in terms of like dividends, right? So, so like I said, I, I'm making this channel for for not the millionaire investor, not the guy that are, has already made millions, but for the normal man or woman that is just trying to figure out a way to break through the shackles and to get free, right? So, so right there, even though that's like amazing, and he he's he he knows magic tricks, and and he's taking his girlfriend to Hawaii, and everything's all good. For me. That's already a little too advanced for me. And like I said, because I'm an idiot, 
I would like something more simple. So even the past couple of days, you've noticed that I've tried simplifying everything in terms of investing, right? To focus on saving as much as possible by living in Bali, getting paid in US dollars and spending very little. And then before I was stupid and just invested it in a bunch of risky businesses. But now in terms of this, you could get like the same thing like this by removing all the complications and just opening up a Vanguard account. Like I said, it's it's free to get started. It's free to open. It's, it's a brokerage account. And to remove the complication of all of it, because what he's doing works for him, right? But, but that's if you have like hundreds of thousands of dollars. Most people watching this YouTube video won't have hundreds and thousands of dollars to invest for passive income. But what they can do is have a game plan so that when the money comes, they're not an idiot like how I was when I just like had a bunch of money, did not invest it and just lost it all because I, because like I said, I'm a freaking moron. Don't make the same mistakes as I did, right? So of course I read this book. I recommend a million of you guys to read this book. It, it, descri it describes it so much more than me. You basically go into Vanguard. You don't worry about dividends because like I said, you need a lot of money to actually make the passive income from that. But to simplify it in all, if you have more than $3,000 to invest, I recommend this index fund, the VTSAX. And like I said, don't take my recommendation for, more, for it. These are just exactly what a lot of people who have made enough money to never work ever again. This is like if they were going to invest in one index fund to get dividends and maybe live off of the dividends or the capital gains or just, you know, how much money your stocks and your dividends and, and whatever makes you as, as life goes on, they recommend this right? The only downside for most people, it's like $3,000 minimum of investment, but the exact same thing almost, right? There's a lot of differences. I know you can look at all those videos, do your own research. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not a guru. I'm not whatever. I'm just, I'm just some guy. I'm just some guy in this, in this t-shirt that I got from Coping Yang for like $2. This is the next best equivalent where there is no minimum, whatever the price of the share, you could just get it, right? So if you have $3,000, and you want to start making passive income, I would recommend VTSAX. And that's not my recommendation. That's this and hundreds, if not thousands of successful people that if they didn't have the smarts to invest in real estate, like I didn't, if they didn't, couldn't pick the next big stocks like Warren Buffett or whatever, and they weren't some genius and they had no time to devote their entire life to learning a new skill set, which is my problem. Right, like here I am learning marketing and online stuff. And then now I made this money. And now I'm like, what the hell do I do with this now? And because it was just so overwhelming and the difference of trying to learn a new skill and learning a new industry, I'm just learning how to simplify it, read this book and just invest in this and this. And like I said, this is just what I'm doing. I'm not telling you what to do. This is just an easy way to make passive income. I can't tell you not, I'm not a financial advisor. Just do your own damn research and just read this book. Makes sense. And I'm tracking all of these 100 stocks through my Google spreadsheets. Otherwise, there is no way that I'm gonna be able to keep track of it. It tells me all of my- Do you hear that? Google spreadsheets, 100 different stocks, 100 different companies that you have to keep your eye on if, if you're gonna make money, if you're gonna lose money. That already gives me so much anxiety. So much freaking anxiety. I could barely enough manage my own finances much less keep track of a hundred different stocks, right? That's why maybe for the normal ordinary person, this guy's a genius. He knows magic tricks. He can make things pop out of your ear and make little kids happy and, and pull bunny out of rabbit hats and whatnot. But, but like I said, for me, it was just too complicated. It's too complicated. I simplified it by reading this book. I don't get paid to say this, following what they're doing, opening up a Vanguard account, putting most of the saved money that's just chilling in my savings account after I pay myself a salary from my company and putting it all into this. And like I said, if you don't have three grand, this, you're not dealing with hundreds of companies. You're not dealing with hundreds of whatever. You're just dealing with one little thing. And look at that. You just put in it every single time you get a paycheck, right? This grows on average about 10% or so annually. Let me look at this. So for the past four year, 40 years, it's been going up at like about a, let me just Google this. So check this out. Let's just look at five years. It's been growing at 10% year to date return on average. So just like that, you know, you, you put a million dollars in there and then you're making a hundred thousand dollars a year. 
I know that 20% of it is coming from the real estate sector and another 15.8% is coming from the consumer staples industry. And if you guys are not familiar with what that is, that's an industry where it's always gonna have similar and or growing demand based upon the population. So people are always gonna need to buy food, water. See, see already right there, this guy's a genius. I'm, I, I, can't, I can't keep track of all of these things. This pays a dividend, but so does VTSAX. I think it's around like two-ish percent, right? One to 2%, so it's a little bit less, but he's doing like a lot of active managing. You're dealing with a hundred different companies. You're dealing with fluctuations. Here, you only deal with one. And like I said, read this book for more information. So this grows at 10%-ish on average. And you could also live off of the dividends from this. So it's almost like a two-in-one sandwich where instead of you waiting to have a bunch of money to then make money from the dividends, which it's also really risky because sometimes companies can just like default, right? Or they'll just stop paying dividends right here. When you're with VTSAX, what that is, is you essentially own the top 3,000 companies in all of the U.S., Right, and because a lot of the top U.S. companies like Apple, like Google, like Berkshire Half Half <laughs> Berkshire Hathaway has international also branches and businesses and does business all around the world, you're essentially tapping in to the index or the dividends of the entire world, right? So you can't lose for this to go down or die or whatever. The entire world would necessarily need to implode, right? Like I said, I'm not a financial advisor. Yeah, I wish. No, it was not that much. It was not 1,478. That's how much people spent clicking my link, but I only made $146.30, which to me is great. And I'm really grateful for that because that's how much money I... So one way that really helps is, is just knowing which niche you're in. So, so this, this obviously works for other people. And when you click on the link with Amazon, what happens is you get cookied where if they buy something in the next 24 hours or so, you, you get like a percentage of that sale, right? So I remember I recommended, so in the old videos, I would like literally recommend my book and I would put an affiliate link to my book and they didn't buy the book, but when they clicked on the link, they bought a freaking grill and then I got a commission from that, right? So I literally got a commission from anything that someone clicks on the link below would buy from Amazon, I think in the 24 hour period or something. Uh, but of course it's like really hard to just live off of that, right? It, just like book sales and affiliates because these are like so little and then Amazon is just like, just cutting the amount of money they're paying you. The things that this really just work for are maybe cameras, softwares, laptops, things that are really expensive, right? So the more expensive, it is the, the, the more money you're actually going to make. But in terms of passive income, it's good. But if you are going to focus on it, the most lucrative ones are people that just recommend their camera gear, right? Like you see Casey Neistat and you're like, wow, I want, like I wanted his camera gear when I first started making videos, right? And I was like looking around and clicking and, and stuff like that. And I clicked on it. And because I had more buyer's intent, there's more likely of a chance that he's going to get a higher commission. Someone comes in and buys a book they're not going to buy a grill every single time and give me like 50 bucks commission for someone buying a grill most of the time they're they're buying little things like a hundred dollars there 50 bucks there and because that you know like my affiliate commissions was only like i think 30 bucks last month so it's like it pretty it, it sucks right but but he, he's he, he's definitely right uh, that was one thing i didn't know about the bounty program but yeah so far everything's good my fourth stream of passive income is from selling products on Shopify. Now, these are actually products that I made myself with my friend where we did a Kickstarter campaign earlier last year where we were selling playing cards, which is super cool. And for my share in the last month of October, I made $978. Now, this is nice money, but it's not money I'm actually spending or buying anything with. I'm not paying my rent with it. It's held in a joint account where we're accumulating money and then reinvesting it to create more products. My fifth source of passive income. So that's one of the downsides of uh, physical product businesses, right? In terms of passive income. Like everyone comes in and says, I want to do Amazon FBA and Shopify and whatnot. And, and it's cool, but most people don't realize, and especially what he talked about, was you're gonna, you have costs. You have to buy things, right? You make money and you're doing well. Guess what? You need to buy more things, right? It, it's not actually passive income that you get to realize and spend and travel and live on a beach. It's like the bigger you grow in terms of e-commerce when you're dealing with physical products, is you gotta keep on reinvesting that back in, right? So in terms of passive income, if you're looking for passive income ideas, like I talk about this so many times, is physical product businesses do really well if you have the intention of selling it off. 
Because two things are going to happen. Competition is going to come in and destroy you if you get lazy. Or number two, you just get a heartache and headache and you wonder, why am I not making as much money as I thought I was? And it's because all of your profit, all of your past income is stuck in the physical product. So he was like right on the, the, the head, the nail or whatever. Just understand this. When you're going to create a passive income idea, instead of diving into all these ideas, you need to begin with the end in mind. Like for me, I ne like I forget all the time, you know, you see all these people doing really well in business and you feel like you're missing out on something. And because of it, you dive into something without doing any research, without knowing what your end goal is. Some of the top investors know their exit strategy. Guess what? I never had an exit strategy. So here I was thinking in a business would start a passive income and it would grow. And I'd be like, oh my God. And then I realized that I would either be time broke or actual cash broke because this business was actually drowning a lot of my time, a lot of my profits. And, and the more you get into these circles, right? The more you start having these biases because all you're talking to are other Shopify people. All you're talking to are other Amazon FBA people. All you're talking to are people that are in the same industry that are going through the same problems. And because of that, because of that, it's very hard to actually win out of it, to get out of it and actually get some freedom for yourself. So understand if you're going to start Shopify, you're going to start e-commerce or Amazon FBA, you need to know your horizon. You need to know your exit strategy. And if you don't have an exit strategy, you're literally going to be stuck in that business unless you have an idea of how to sell it. Or if you learn how to build infrastructures or operations or hire people to actually remove yourself from the process, which most people, like I said, most people that watch this video, they're not going to have the know-how to do that without dealing with a lot of failure. Like for me, I, I don't have a business bone in my, in my being, right? I'm a biomedical sciences major that was supposed to be a dentist. I knew nothing when it came to marketing or sales or, or whatever. But guess what? I had to learn the hard way. Because I didn't have an exit strategy and I just dug myself a new job with all of these passive income ideas. When you come in and you're like, I want passive income, just know, are, are you creating passive income or are you just going to get yourself another job? Because I kid you not, all of the passive income ideas that I had with no exit plan turned into a glorified job that I was working 16, 16 hours a day. Don't make the same mistake of passive income is through affiliate links and this is where i will leave a link below each video to let's say a brokerage that i'm using like webull where if you fund your account 100 affiliate marketing is by far one of the most passive ways to make money in the world right because guess what you're not dealing with people you're not dealing with customers you could be like a one-man person and have a camera or woman and a laptop you don't need this freaking complicated stuff. You don't need any of this, right? This, this, this actually doesn't, this isn't even real. It's it, like, it's just for show. But if you have affiliate marketing and you have a voice and you're not afraid to put yourself out there and you just recommend products that you're already buying, that does really well. Like if you look in the links below, you'll see that a lot of them are just like affiliate links. Uh, he, he talked about, oh, I sold courses in the past. One of the things about courses, it's very hard because you have to keep on updating it. You have to be an expert. You have to deal with customer service. You have to deal with returns. You have to deal with community management. It's like, like you think courses are the most passive income in the world, but if anything, it takes a lot of time, especially in updating it and keeping it up to date, right? One of the best things though, what I've been doing, if you've been noticing is now I'm just recommending my friends courses. I go to Bali and I'm like, hey, yo, man, you, you have a really co good course. You have a lot of testimonials. Awesome. Let me help you out. Let me recommend you some products. Let me do a podcast and just send people to your link. And then if people like them and they think that they give value because I know they do and they buy something from them, I'll get 50% of that. So that is by far one of the best passive income ideas in the world. Hands down. If you're a beginner, you should begin straight with this, my idea, my plan is to make most of my money actually from my YouTube channel and affiliate marketing and putting it all into not the, not VTI, but VTSAX until I have more of the free time to then figure out real estate. Because like I said, if you've seen the old videos, man, like I was, I was I, like, I, like, for example, I had like 300 grand in the bank account, right? And I didn't know what to do with it. So I was stupid. I was stupid. And I threw it away on a bunch of dumb things. 
Like I invested like, for example, 40 grand when crypto was at its height, <laughs> just got demolished. The reason why I have this YouTube channel is so you don't make the same mistakes as me. So please save yourself. <laughs> save yourself. So this is how he does it, right? Look at this magic. Let me go down. Bam. This is the secret of passive income. None of these are products that he actually owns. But all, if you click on any one of these, you'll make some money. This one, for example, Weeble. You see that? Let's check this out. Weeble. Check this out. Weeble affiliate program. Can you imagine? For each new client who opens up account, a stock valued for $10 to $250. A stock valued from $30 to $1,400 for each new client who makes an initial deposit of no less than 100 bucks. So check this out. You come in here. You recommend products. This is the idea of selling shovels in a gold rush. Stop focusing on the gold. Sell the shovels. And the best way to do that is affiliate marketing. You just see, well, where's the gold rush that everyone is going to? Oh, Shopify dropshipping? Maybe instead of doing Shopify dropshipping, what if you recommend the Shopify app or the Shopify software? Instead of day trading and spending all your money losing it in Robinhood and Weeble, what if you just recommended Robinhood and Weeble? Look at that. There's like no risk. He recommends it. He could get, he get if he gets a hundred people to join, that's already three grand on the low end, right? If they invested a hundred bucks, right? It could be even more. It could be even more. Guess how much risk he had? Zero. Zero. Because he just recommended something. You could see like there's so much ways to just mitigate your risk. Mitigate your risk. I'm listening to this audiobook. It's called How to Be a Billionaire, right? They said most of the billionaires we're really good at mitigating the risk. Affiliate marketing, you don't need to hire staff like I did. You don't need to worry about sending so much salaries like I did. You don't have to worry about constantly struggling to keep a profit so you could just survive like I did. You could just find a product or a company that already has all of that, and then you just recommend it to someone out there in the YouTube hemisphere making these videos that I, I make like a day before you see them or two days because I'll spend so much time on them. And that to me is what's enjoyable. Like I don't want to become that person who's just giving you timeshare presentations and trying to sell you on things. So again, this is the least form of passive income. And most of this money, by the way, came from videos that I've done in the past rather than videos that I'm putting out today. It's like all these couple hundred dollar videos they're adding up just like dividends. So in the last month of October, and this has only started happening to my channel like two or three months ago, $12,671. Okay, so, so this is dope, right? Especially if you talk about finances because they make so much more. Like for me, I talked about my girlfriend, didn't make that much money. I talked about my like fitness hobbies, didn't make that much money. But when I start talking about teaching people how to make money, like for some reason you get paid way more than that. Like this guy is on averaging, I think last time I checked 60,000 views, 60,000 views a day. So if that's the case, he probably makes about $15 on the low end per thousand views. So I'm assuming he's on the low end, conservative numbers, making anywhere from $1,000 to $2,000 a day now from his AdSense, right? And that's without the affiliate commission. So overall, this guy is a genius at magic. <laughs> and also genius in turning the ways that he's making passive income into another passive income stream. It's very meta, right? Like you, you see Graham Stephan, he makes money every single time he teaches, not even just teaches, but shows people how much money he made. Can you imagine what that is like? Like, hey, I made a hundred grand this month. And then because he made that video, it bumped him up to 200 grand a month. And then he's like, I made 200 grand a month. And then because people are like, oh my God, he made that much. You click on it and then he makes 300 grand a month. It's, the, it's like Tim Ferriss, the four hour work week guy, the guy that inspired me to leave America, to travel around the world, to write a book, to live my best life, to spend money on $2 t-shirts and $1 soups and food and meat out here instead of like being like drowning in the slavery of, of just everything wrong in America with, with the corporate world and cubicle. And, ah, he would have been proud. He would have been proud. So guys, really curious, should I do more videos like this? If I should, just type in the keyword that you want me to break down uh, below. Shout out to this guy, Andre Jick, for being a savage when it comes to his finances. And I, I'm really curious, what are your thoughts on Andre Jick? Comment below. Comment the keyword that you want me to research next. Like, comment, and subscribe.
For everything else, make money online, passive income, and online businesses, head to MikeVasile.com, and I will see you guys tomorrow.